Okay, first we press the power button to turn on the machine. And on the screen we can see the welcome screen and seeing the system is starting. And here says it is identifying the USB disk. And ask back to reference point. Usually um, every time the first time you power on your machine, you should press OK button. So then the machine starts to go to the reference point or should or we call it the home point, the home position. And the spindle goes to the top on the axis and then move to the bottom left corner of the machine. And on screen it shows homing. Okay, after everything is done, it asks whether find the you uh, scan your disk. We cancel it now, so we press the ESC button. And now uh, we can move the spindle manually. And uh, you can see here, there shows slow, and we press the zero button here. It will switch to high mode, and then you can see here is 70%. We can use these two buttons to plus and minus it. You can see max to 100%, and then I can use Y plus minus X plus minus and Z plus minus to move the spindle. I press X plus, it moves fast to the right side. I press X minus, it moves fast to the left side. I press Y plus, it moves fast to the far further um, area. And I press Y minus, and here is the Z minus and Z plus. Press shift and the four. And it will ask you again whether to back to the reference point. Then press OK. Okay, then I press X to Y to zero and hold the shift key to press this button again and it set Z to zero. Okay, so here um, this is the you can see the X, Y, Z. There's one in front of them. This is this is the uh, um, manual zero point or I should say the starting point if we hold shift key and press this it will switch to XYZ this is the machine coordinates okay here I use these two buttons to move the speed to 50% then you can see now it moves more slower even so I move it to 20% you can see it moves even though slow okay here I accelerate it and then I Okay, now here shows the T2. 
it means now the spindle two is on the action, the middle one is in action. How to start to use the first one? We press shift. Uh, we press arrow down and one. Okay, I press down and two. I press down and three. So this is the way to switch between the three tools. Two sensor. First, we need to tell the machine the difference, uh, the length, the differences between each tooth. So we press, we press shift and nine, shift and the nine and then the spindle will go down slowly and when it touched the two sensor it will go back and then the machine will record the length of the tooth on your first spindle and then we can use the same way to let the machine know the length of your of the tools on the second spindle and uh, when we set all the string spindles we get back to spindle one and then we press shift and zero and uh, uh, sorry Then we press shift and zero, and uh, then the machine will use the spindle one to sense the thickness of your working piece of your wood board. So now the machine knows the thickness of your wood board and the differences between the three tools on your three spindles. So the machine then can do the work on your workspace automatically okay here is some the basic um, usage of the NK105 panel uh, you can reference to the user's manual for more functions and the skills okay thank you for watching ah.